filling the boat with two of every kind of animal. Still to be collected, two giraffes, two elephants, and one more jackass. <laughs> what an idiot. Oh, he's a mook. Jerks. Don't worry about it, you guys. Come on, eat up. I'm not hungry. Yeah, me neither. You guys can't eat, I can't stop. Can you go to the bathroom? Me too. OK, don't go with them. Please? Fine. Oh, excuse me. Can I get a refill, please? Coming right up. Thank you. Excuse me. Are you all right? Yeah. No. It's a long story. Well, I like stories. I'm considered a bit of a storyteller myself. My husband? Have you heard of New York's Noah? <laughs> the guy who's building the ark. That's him. I love that story. Noah in the ark. You know, a lot of people miss the point of that story. They think it's about God's wrath and anger. They love it when God gets angry. What is the story about, then, the Ark? Well, I think it's a love story about believing in each other. You know, the animals showed up in pairs. Mm -hmm. you know, they stood by each other, side by side, just like Noah and his family. Everybody entered the Ark side by side. But my husband says God told him to do it. What do you do with that? Sounds like an opportunity. Let me ask you something. If someone prays for patience, do you think God gives them patience? Or does he give them the opportunity to be patient? If they prayed for courage, does God give them courage? Or does he give them opportunities to be courageous? If someone prayed for the family to be closer, do you think God zaps them with warm, fuzzy feelings? Or does it give them opportunities to love each other? <laughs> well, I gotta run. A lot of people to serve. Enjoy. <laughs> I guess this comes as no surprise to those who remember his campaign promise. I will lower taxes, go crazy, and build a gigantic ark. 